system. Now keep in mind, those are recommended budget adjustments. It's up to the General Assembly to look at the figures and enact the changes. Or Carolyn, or Kim Gennardo, rather, rather, previews the top priorities during the short session. State lawmakers return to Raleigh with a clear mission. This is a year for tightening our belts. Lawmakers will look to tweak the state's $21 billion budget. The governor has called for sin taxes to raise teacher pay and help the mentally ill. Leadership in the House says now is not the time to raise taxes. I'm, I'm doubtful we'll have any revenue increases uh, in this budget. Um, I'm skeptical that we that there will be the support to do that. I'm sure there'll be a pay raise for teachers, uh, but I, I'm quite confident there will not be any tax rate increases in the short session. On the Senate side, Majority Leader Tony Rand says they need to get control over the management of mental health reform before any more money flows into the system. We get things put in place uh, that, that so badly need to be there, and then that we make sure that the money we're spending be spent in the best ways because we've spent a lot of money uh, that we didn't really get our money's worth, I think. Education remains the biggest piece of the pie. Lawmakers in both chambers will address dropout prevention programs, yet the top priority remains jobs. We're making out in this economy with knowledge-based um, uh, jobs, and so we need to continue that. So lawmakers will review incentive money and possibly consider an economic stimulus bond package for the ballot this fall. At the state capitol, Kim Gennardo, NBC 17 News. Lawmakers will also consider phasing out the highway trust fund transfer so the money would go to long-term road building projects.